Adobe Digital Editions is the Adobe tool that allows you to open copy-protected books and transfer them to a compliant device, such as the Nook. First, you'll need to download and set up the tool. Next, you'll create an Adobe account. It is important you don't skip this step. And last, you'll download and transfer books that you've gotten from any compliant source. That includes Kobo Books, Sony, Overdrive, and others. To get started, visit adobe.com and download the Adobe Digital Editions tool. It's also called ADE. The first time you run it, you'll need to configure ADE. Click Continue to go to the registration page. You do not want to skip authorizing your computer. Doing so would lock all of your books to this specific computer you're using and prevent them from being backed up and shared on other devices. Enter your Adobe ID and password. As I said, don't skip this step. If you don't have an Adobe ID, simply click the link above where it says Get an Adobe ID online. Once you've entered that information, click Activate to continue. Once you've successfully activated ADE, you can click Finish to continue. When ADE starts, you'll see a list of different bookshelves. All items borrowed, purchased, recently read. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our Nook and we're going to see how the Nook appears as a bookshelf in ADE. Once you see the Nook appear in the bookshelf menu, your Nook is ready to receive books that are authorized in the ADE tool. If you click on the Nook icon, you should see the contents currently on your Nook. If the Nook icon did not appear under bookshelves, simply restart Adobe Digital Editions with your Nook plugged in. The Nook contents are displayed on the right hand side of the screen. This will include the content you've purchased from Barnes & Noble, as well as any other content you've loaded into My Documents and sample books you've downloaded. Now that you have ADE fully configured, you're ready to go find EPUB and PDF protected content you'd like to use in your Nook. Now you can use Kobo Books, the Sony Bookstore, Overdrive content from your local library. They all work pretty much the same way. Once you go through the process to get the book, you'll be given a download link. When you click on that download link, it will actually ask you if you want to open or save that file. You want to click open. What that will do is it will then load that content into ADE. Here we are clicking on a download link in Overdrive. It could have easily been a link in Kobo Books or any other ebook site that uses the Adobe Copy Protection Tools. Click Open to open the file in ADE. The Overdrive book is now displayed under All Items. Notice the 21 day ribbon. That shows that this is a 21 day rental and after that time period the book will no longer be able to be read on your Nook. We'll grab the book with the mouse and then we'll drag it over to the Nook icon on the left. Now when we look at the Nook contents in ADE, we can see the book that was downloaded and then taken over to the Nook icon on the left appears on our Nook device. You should be able to go to the Nook, go to My Documents, click Check for New Content, and then find this book and open it on the Nook. Some users have reported problems dragging and dropping books from the right hand pane over to the Nook icon on the left. If you have a problem with a book on your Nook after following that procedure, you can manually copy the book by going into the Adobe Editions folder in My Documents and manually copying and pasting that over to your Nook drive into the My Documents directory on your Nook drive.